This video is the third in a series showing how using uh, the Google Photos app on your phone as a bridge to get the photos from your phone to the Google uh, Photo servers and then from the Google Photo servers to your computer. So this is the last part, part three, which is the downloading the photos from Google to your computer part. Here we go. It's pretty easy. Uh, you're just going to open your web browser and then you're going to go to the website called photos.google.com. So type that in and uh, if you haven't logged in before, you will need to enter your username and password that you created your Google Photos account with. Uh, so hopefully you have that somewhere, otherwise you can't do this step. If you need to create a new account for Google Photos for this class, it's not a problem. Uh, just, just do that and uh, away you go. So I, I can now see the photos that I selected in the previous video that were on my phone and now they are on Google servers. That's what I'm seeing here is they're out in the internet, in the cloud. Um, so now what I need to do is get them from the cloud to my computer and it's really easy. Here we go. So all I need to do is basically what I did when they were on the phone, I'm going to select them and then instead of telling to back up, I'm going to tell them to download. So to select a photo, uh, again, there's a couple ways you can do it. If uh, a day like Wednesday, June 17th here has all the photos I want, I'll just click on the, the little circle, the gray circle with a check to turn it blue to indicate it is selected. If I just want to select or deselect an individual photo, I could just check on that and that'll turn it off or on. Uh, I'm going to go and get these other days of photos that I uh, added. Um, so now I have a total of 17, just as I had it when I synchronized. So uh, my photos are selected that I want. The next step is to tell Google to download these, and here's how you do that. So you click in the More Options in the, the, the bar near the top of the screen. It's on the right-hand side. It's three vertical dots. So you'll click on that. And once you click on that, you will see uh, options and the option you want is at the top. It's download. So click on that and then you should see downloading and it'll start and, and it'll show you progress in the lower left corner if you're using Chrome, the Chrome web browser. Uh, and when it's all done, the blue circle will stop spinning and you should be left with photos.zip sitting down here. So what you'll do next is uh, you can just click directly on that photos.zip in the tray down there. So click on that and it will, I have mine on my desktop, so you can see it just automatically uncompressed it, opened it, uh, not opened it, but uncompressed it in the location on my desktop. Usually these are in your downloads folder. So when you click on photos.zip, it'll take you to your, uh, open a new window on uh, to your computer that shows you the downloads folder. And now you will see uh, photos.zip and then just photos, a folder that indicates it's uncompressed. You need to uncompress that and, and Chrome can help you do that, the browser, if you click and do what I just told you. So you click on the word photos.zip, opens the window, uncompresses the file. If you do need to, if it did not do that, you will need some kind of uncompressing utility. Um, uh, if you're on a Mac computer, again, it should do it automatically on a PC. Uh, I'm not as helpful on that because I don't know PCs very well. Google it. <laughs> so once, um, so when you're in, if, if it's, you're in your download folder, uh, when it's photos, the blue photos, I mean, the the folder called Photos, just click and hold and, and drag that to your desktop. That's my suggestion. It's the easiest place to find your stuff. Uh, at least it is for me. If you want to leave them in your downloads, that's fine. This Photos folder is going to be temporary. Um, when I show you how to import into Lightroom, we're going to download these permanently. So you, after we uh, make a new copy of them through Lightroom, you can delete this one. So that's the process of taking the photos from start to finish. So they started on my phone. Um, they started on my phone 
and I took the photo here. I used Google Photos to synchronize to Google's cloud. And then here I've used uh, my web browser to get to Google Cloud and download the photos to my computer. So now I can import them to Lightroom on my computer. If you have any questions on this, just send me an email, let me know. I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to seeing your photos.